In this book, Tag Freed Teaches Woodworking. Book three is furniture making. And in this book, there is a project for a three-legged stool. And it is one that I have wanted to make for years because it has some unique joinery that I've always wanted to try and take the challenge to complete. And it looks like this when it's finished. Some people think this is a funny looking stool. <laughs> I happen to like it. My wife says it looks like some kind of an insect. But anyway, it's very slim legs. Sleek design here, minimalist, along with the handle for the back. I'm going to try and tackle that. You can get his book. I got mine from the library. And you can also buy it on Amazon.com. Let's get started. Where we should start is these three pieces. The seat the little extender and the back piece. The seat and the middle piece are joined together with a mortise and tenon and that's where we should start. This is my piece for the seat and this is where the mortise is going to be taken from, is right this lower area of the seat. We will shape the seat after this is done the reason this is so low on the board is because a lot of this will be taken out in a curved fashion here to make the seat. The extender piece is here and it will go, as you can see, the mortise, the tenon will be on, on this part and will go together like so. Let's get started with the mortise. I have my drill press set up with the mortising cutting attachment and I will make this mortise in that way. The mortise is now cut. Uh, I got approximately two inches deep. The plan calls for two and a quarter, but my mortise cutter will not go any deeper than this, so I think we're close enough. I read someone else's account on the internet and they did it at one and three quarters. Anywhere in that area is going to be a very strong mortise and tenon. So I have the joining piece here, and I've marked out where I need to remove material, and I think I'm going to remove this small section of material on the dado head cutter on the on the table saw Okay, I have the first side of the tenon cut and put it up against the side of the mortise and that looks pretty close to the depth that we need. So let's cut the other side now. I'm using my marking gauge to get the depth that I need and if you didn't notice I cut the wrong side of my markings on my piece uh, when I did the, the first side. So I have to remark this. But what I've done is got my depth with my gauge and then I'm putting that onto my other piece. So. I should cut along this line. What I think I'm going to do is sneak up on this. I'm going to use the, the bandsaw to cut the bulk of this out, and then I'll use the dado head cutter to trim it to fit. Okay, I've got it roughly where I want it. Um, I'm going to need to do some sanding and a little more trimming to fit this precisely. But, I need to cut off a half inch off of each side of this to fit the width. So we'll get to that. Okay, let's give it a try here. Not 
bad. It is now time to start focusing on the transition piece. And uh, as you saw already, we have this tin and cut. And it's time to cut this down to size and get the angled dovetail cut into the back piece. The back piece, I have kind of tentatively traced out my dovetail, but I will refine that. It will go in here like this at an angle, and it's going to be cut a dovetail. The tails in the back piece, we go always, always to cut the tails first. Okay, I've cleaned out uh, the bulk of the waste on the bandsaw, as you saw, and uh, so now I just need to clean up with a chisel and do the angle just like that in the joint here. And Tag Fried says in his book, don't worry about the angle, all dovetails are made with an angle, it's just that they usually are a 90 degree angle. So this angle, I just have to whittle away and get this to where it's okay. One thing that I can do is use my other piece that is cut at that same angle to, when I get to that point, to use this and hold the chisel at the correct angle so that I transfer that to the other piece. Sharp chisel really makes all the difference in the world. Okay, we have the dovetail cut out, and not the greatest, but it's going to work. I need to do some fine tuning on it, and it goes like this. seat goes like this